else pulled forward with the green cards and I put the hem over those needles and making sure that all of the latches are open I put and I have no clips pause that and I'm back I hang the rubber cord with the clip, pull this over, push it behind, then you should grab the yellow card, but I don't use yellow cards anymore, I just move with the green card and I position the latch, um, the, the ravel cord in the groove of the needle. So once it positions in the groove of the needle, it's properly positioned. I have um, key plate two and a half threaded up and I'm going to just put my yarn in. Well, that's interesting. I don't know why there's tape under that carriage. Weird. Okay. Thread Put the yarn in and slowly bring the carriage across. Now I'm using a yarn called Desmonte Cotton for my waist yarn. Um, let me just show you at the beginning of the row. Come out here. See this? This stitch needs to be formed the proper size of the rest of the needles. This, um, you have to hold the yarn to start the row back up. And if you don't hold this tight enough, what's going to happen is this loop right here is going to catch and you're going to drop all of your stitches. So we, uh, if you can see what I'm doing with my hand back here, I'm holding the yarn taut with my left hand and with my right hand just gently bringing it across until it encounters the needles. I'm going to telephoto this again. And notice right here if the needles are coming out and I have no tension on the yarn at all. Let's see what's happening here. Okay, a little, little loop there that we pulled down on and we're okay. And over on the opposite side, see how if there's tension on the yarn, it pulls that needle up? I don't need tension on the yarn at all with this machine. Now we're going to start the row again and zoom out so you can see. Sorry about my arm in the way. <clears throat> see what I'm doing here? I'm holding the yarn and with my right hand I'm guiding the carriage back across the bed. I hit a little snag right there. Oh, and now I've stopped. Okay, so we're jammed. Let's see if we can figure out why. Sometimes it means that there's a spot right here that's catching. Sometimes there's a needle catching. You can't go backwards. You saw me push backwards. You can't go backwards. If you do, you're going to drop everything off. Um, oh, it released. Interesting. If I push down on the back of the carriage, it jammed. I brought forward just a little bit. No panics, no nothing, um, but this is probably right here why I had trouble. What I need to do is put a little weight on my tail. Uh, see, my tail here, and let's go ahead.
head now and back it back out and I see I'm gonna have to be on the other side of the screen okay again so that was like for three rows now I'm gonna hang on to my yarn bring the carriage across again I'm jammed Whew, I took my needle took my hand off mm, jammed yeah yep mm, take my hand off mm, nope not liking this at all shouldn't be doing that so huh, interestingly enough what I'm doing to get it across the needle bed is raising it up in the back there's a little bit of of play here in the back and if it pushes down I think it's catching on these on the what we call the back rail of the needle bed I'm gonna knit a little bit more and we'll see so we should be able to just one hand it across right to left goes just fine this and then the, let's do left to right I'm holding the yarn to take up the tension at the beginning of the row and mm -hmm, getting a little bit of a ha uh ha -huh, yes so can you see oh, bring this closer what I'm having to do is bring it up in the back of the needle bed so it's catching either here or here as the carriage goes across and I'm not seeing any wear marks yet so I really can't tell this is a brand new machine by the way um, let's see okay we'll do right to left again and so uh, wide angles so you can see I'm holding onto the tension and I'm just gently bringing the carriage back across no pressure downward no downward pressure on the needle on the carriage at all um, and then we're going to try left to right but I can see where the needle bed just is has got issues this is another place to check right here the the joints of what we call the retainer bars okay so now I'm going to use my finger here and bring the carriage back across and it's jammed here brought the nose down a little bit and upward in the back and I'm having no issues now